What's good guys? Just Prince TV here. Yo, we just saw a versus battle between the locks and dipset, and that seemed a little lopsided. You know, I always said the locks was gonna win that battle anyway. But this got me to thinking. What three-man trio could give probably the likes a run for their money, or at least make it competitive? And this got me to thinking. Why not G Unit? Think about it. G Unit. If G Unit goes up against the locks, you have Tony Yayo, Lloyd Banks, and 50 Cent. That's it. Don't add the game. Don't add Young Buck. Okay. Um, we have to do it in a trio. We can't do it in like five against um, three because that's when it becomes cheating. Because if you throw Young Buck in there, he could throw his hits. You, if you went to throw the game in there, the game could throw his hits. So that would be like a cheating advantage for none other than LOX. All right? So make it a three-man group. Let's do, you know... Just the original core from Southside Jamaica, Queens. You know, and you could let Banks do his hits. Styles P do his hits. Jadakiss do his hits. 50 Cent do his hits. Now, I do think G-Unit will be more of a commercialized showing. But don't, don't sleep on G-Unit for street bangers. G-Unit has a lot of, lot of classic hood joints. Remember, they were big on the mixtape market, too. They got mixtapes like Return of the Body Statues, um, Elephant in the Sand. They got a lot of good mixtapes that they could battle with the locks. You know, um, it'll come down to lyrics, but if it comes down to lyrics, the locks got them. But if it comes down to songs, G-Unit may have enough songs to give the locks a run for their money commercial-wise, you know. If 50 Cent starts playing songs from Get Rich or Die Trying and have the crowd jumping, you know, like What Up Gangsta, stuff like that, then that could be very challenging for the locks because G-Unit got a lot of commercialized songs. And commercialized songs, if they're with the crowd and you can move the crowd right, it's a, a recipe for success. You know what I'm saying? And keep this in mind. Unlike Dipset, G-Unit does know how to do crowd control. So them going up against the locks will be a 50-50 for me. And it'll be a little hard for the locks since they already did, now officially, two verse battles. Jadakiss beat Fabulous, then he beat, with his group, Dipset. So I don't know if they got enough in the chamber to go at uh, G-Unit. Because G-Unit be singing, uh, they be doing performing their songs for the very first time. Something that the locks won't be able to do. They won't have that advantage. But what do you think? The locks versus G unit. Who wins that battle? In the versus battle. I would pay to see that. I would love to see it though. But who you got? And we out.